Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. I'm here at IDF 2014, and I have a very interesting wearable for you. This is Mika. So this is the air wearable from Intel. It's a concept prototype. You can see in here, there's a little micro USB port. They're not talking about much else uh, in terms of tech, but you can see that there's a display here. Uh, I can't turn it on. And there's gonna be a flexible battery inside the cuff. Now, I've always been uh, a big fan of the concept of a cuff wearable because as a woman it, you can get away with wearing you know like a chunky piece of, of jewelry and then from a technology perspective you can fit like a nice big battery in there and then the, the idea is you can just kind of turn it over and I think that the text will kind of be like the notifications will appear uh, in this direction rather than this, this direction because we've seen with the uh, gear fit that that uh, long form just doesn't really work so when we kind of take a look around it, it's just, it's, you know, very fashion forward, very specific. It's going to be released at Barney's. Uh, so you can expect that this is going to cost a very pretty penny. Now, if we just take a look at this again and just kind of open it up, you can see just how thick it is. And the way the inside is just, you know, nice and molded. Now, when I, when I actually put it onto my wrist, uh, I, can't, I can't turn it around so the display isn't going to kind of be flopping up to the top or anything like that. Now I'm, I'm actually very excited about this type of wearable because uh, all the wearables currently on the market are focused on the, the male demographic and uh, having like the LG Watch R is very, very masculine. The Moto, the Moto 360 might be the closest one to being maybe okay for ladies, but the problem is, is that uh, just the way the technology is right now, all wearables are going to be relatively thick just because of the stack. And when you put wireless charging inside, um, you know, that also increases the thickness. So from a technology, te technology perspective, we're in a place where a chunkier jewelry actually might work a little bit better. We should be uh, having a lot more details on this in November, and personally, I cannot wait. So Intel actually announced a partnership with Fossil, who would be for like the mainstream trendsetters, and they should be uh, coming out with some wearables uh, after this one. This is going to be for kind of the high-end ladies demographic. Barney's ain't cheap. <laughs> so this is Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks taking a look at the potential for what women can have in wearables.